guys and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be back with another video for you this weekend i have been sick my knees has hurt me so bad they still do but i wanted to film a video and i actually got ready today i haven't worn makeup all weekend due to my sickness and i had to lay in bed all day so now i'm going to film a video and this is going to be my may use up goals finale and then my june use up goals i don't know what i'm going to call it yet but something like that may was very hectic and stressful and just very confusing for me so some of the goals i didn't hit but i was very close and some some of them i did but i think june is going to be more peaceful for me because i'm done i don't have any more school ever and um, i have my graduation party and stuff like that but i don't really have any other plans um yeah i have some new goals and i'm very excited to show you guys what they are and share them in general to do a recap of my may goals i wanted to finish or finish half of some of my uh, some makeup products and the first thing was i wanted to finish my nyx angel veil primer i almost did that but due to me not wearing makeup that much in may i didn't quite finish it. I did deep it into this small jar here because it was so hard to get out and I don't, didn't want to have it to be a struggle every time but I deep it here in June <laughs> after I graduated last week but this is all I have left. I don't even think I have a week of product left but and this is going to be a rollover to June. Then I wanted to finish half of what was left in my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And this is where I am now. So hopefully I have a picture for you guys. Mm. Otherwise I think I did pretty good Consider I didn't wear makeup that much. But I don't have a lot left. But hopefully I can finish this by the end of June. I have it in my drop tin before summer. But I don't know how much I can finish by then. So the next makeup product I wanted to finish half of, I believe, was the highlighter from the Rockstar Palette from The Balm. I used it the most of May as a virtual highlighter on my cheekbones, nose and stuff. But then I just got tired of it. I wanted it to, it to be gone. And then I received a product from W7, like a body shimmer, and I thought, why not mix that within the body lotion I have in this project so I can get them done at the same time. So I crushed it up very, very fine and then I mixed it in a small tub with this body lotion I'm going to talk about in a minute and then it creates like a body shimmer. So I got the last application of that small tub today. So I don't have anything to show you. I don't have progress pictures or anything, but I have a picture from last time. I didn't have that much more progress from that picture to when I crushed it up. So you can kind of have a sense of where I was. Then I had a small nubbin left of my Max Factor lipstick in Stardust Pink, I believe. I don't have anything left. I'm very excited to be done with this and I have moved on to other lipsticks. I do miss it but I don't think I will buy it again due to me having too much lipstick in my collection already. <laughs> then I wanted to hit pan in my Hoola bronzer from Benefit and as you can see I did. I hit massive pan actually and I have quite a dip going on. This is in a project that I need to do a reboot boost of or something else because I haven't updated you guys in like two or three months. Um, but I did hit pan in Hula and I'm very very excited. I do use it every single day. And then I wanted to finish the last small bit of my Maybelline color tattoo. I scraped it all into the center and yeah there's like a small bit left but I do want to roll this over into the June use up. For skincare I did finish up a few. I wanted to mask eight or ten times. I masked five times which is like half and not that good but for me it was very very hard to find the time and energy to do a mask in the evening because I have written all day for my report and I was just too tired. I even skipped my skincare a few times and I have skipped it a lot here in June already as well. It's kind of bad but I 
always do my skincare when I have worn makeup. So my plan is to do more makeup so I can do my skincare often and take care of my skin. I know it's, it's stupid, but I'm just very lazy. So far I have masked like twice, which is very, very good if you consider. <laughs> I only masked five times in the entire month of May. And the two masks I will do is these two. It is from two Danish brands. So I, you don't, probably don't know them if you aren't Danish. But this one is a clear up face mask and it is like a, it has a clay vibe to it, but it doesn't dry down. So it's very, very nice. Don't feel very tightening on my skin, which I love. <laughs> Um, but this is a Classia by Meritas Clear Up Face Mask from young, for young skin. I really, really like this. And then I have my Melissa um, like face scrub face mask or something. I really, really enjoyed this as well. And then I had this in last month as well for May. It is again the Placia, uh, like the mask. It is the same range. This is a clean up face foam for young skin. Again, I didn't do that well by cleansing my skin or doing my skincare. So I have used this a few times, but I will definitely try to finish this up this month. I will do my best. Oh, and I marked it. I'm down to here. So maybe I was up to here last month, but I will try my best to, to use this up. Yeah, and then I had the smallest bit left of this L'Oreal's Plume Glow Sensational Cleansing Oil. I finished this one. I moved on to a new cleansing oil. I don't love, love it as much as this one, but it's fine. I use it for my eye makeup because it's kind of heavy. And then I finished uh, a hair product. It is my Batiste Dry Shampoo from for Brunette Medium brunette hair something. I used this one up. I didn't have that much left so it was no problem at all. I have moved on. And for my body I actually am very very excited about this one. So for my body I finished myself tanning lotion. What? <laughs> I was so further down or I have used much more product than I thought I had because there was an air bubble in it. So I thought I was up to here but I was actually only down to here or something which was very very odd but at the same time very very nice because I only self tanned once for my entire body which was so nice that I didn't have to use it more. But I don't like this at all. It doesn't like stain my skin if you can say like that it doesn't really sit nicely on my skin so i don't really like this and i'm so excited that it's gone and then i told you guys later that i mixed my highlighter with a body lotion and that is this one i'm so excited to call this done i was like up to here or something when i introduced it into this use up uh, video it is the i love mango and papaya body lotion i love this so much so amazing but it created the be most beautiful shimmer with the highlighter and i just love it i just love this so much because it has a pump and it's just really really nice to use but when i got down there it was really really hard to pump so i need to scrape it out with my beauty spatula which i did and then i just mixed in the highlighter which was very very easy to do. That is done and I'm so excited to start with a new body lotion and I have never used up a body lotion that fast before and I'm so excited because I'm the worst at body lotions. I don't re even remember using this up because I did it so soon in this project but I used up the smallest bit I had left in my Yves Rosé uh, shower gel with cranberry and almond. This is my favorite shower gel from them and it is so so nice and it smells amazing but I, again it's so long ago I used this up and um, there was not very much. You can see there is a small bit left but I can't get it out so it's okay it's not very expensive or anything so I'm fine. And then we have the last thing for my May use up. I tried to finish this off. It is the Nux um, shower oil. It is so amazing. So I think I only have like two or three uses left of this. I tried to use it today and yeah, it's still wet. <laughs> but again, I only have like two or three uses left. So I tried to use this up, but I didn't. But I love this stuff, so I really don't mind. I had like up to here 
um, last time so I used a big chunk I need to bend it really really hard in the shower which is hard when you have wet fingers and so I can see my battery is slow so let's just do the juniors up really really fast I already talked about some recaps or the rollovers I will just go through them very fast with you guys so for the makeup part I want to finish the rest of what I departed in the small jar of my NYX primer I want to finish the last bit of my elf eyebrow kit right here and I want to finish my last small bit of this color tattoo I have this W7 lip twister it is a lip liner and I want to finish this up it is in very nude I have this much left and I don't see this as a problem because I use this every single day now. Because I have this lipstick in a pretty pen that dropped in before summer. I will try my hardest to use this up. It is what I have on my lips right now. And I want to pair it with this one. This lip twister which will be a very very nice combination. This is a bright pink lipstick. It is a MDK Revolution lipstick in Jilted. I have it on top of a red lipstick right now so it's more bright but I think it is very nice toned down with this lip liner. For my skincare I want to mask 10 times with those two masks I um, showed you before and then I want to finish my cleansing foam then I want to finish the last small bit I have of my micellar water from Nivea I have this much left I think I can do it because I do it every single time I have removed my makeup to remove the rest and before my cleanser I want to finish up these two creams this is a night cream I have dropped it a few times as you can see so I really want to use it up I don't have a lot left as you can see but I really really hope to have this done and then day cream as well I think I could do it because I try to have a good routine now that I don't have school anymore and then I have a serum because I use the serum after I have done a mask because my skin really need a boost so I only have this much left so I think I can do it it is my third serum and I love it so much but you can't get it anymore so I really need to use it up as well and then I want to finish this kind of mask it is a three-step mask I bought off eBay it's like a poor strip thingy because my blackheads is really really bad at the moment so I really want to remove them and I want to see if that works and then I have two body care items the first one is my Nivea Caring Shower Cream. It's like a... what do you call that? It's like a shower gel, but it's like a cream milky way and it is so nice. I love it so much. So, and I think I'm down to here or something. I really want to try. And the last thing is my Nooks Shower Oil that I talked about you. Uh, to you before. I really think I can do it. I hope you enjoy these kind of videos. I enjoy doing them so much and yeah, I really really hope you enjoyed and I hope you will give this video a like if you did like it and subscribe to my channel. I'm so close to 600 if I haven't already hit them. I'm just overwhelmed <laughs> with all the love. It is so amazing and then I will see you guys next time and take care until then.